Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm so excited to be with you and chat about today's topics. When I was first starting to break free, it was mind blowing to me. I was on the hunt for ways to make money online, ways to make money from your phone, anything I could do to earn extra money to pay off debt, to give you a little bit of extra cash, build up an emergency fund, to start building wealth, to take the pressure off your real job and perhaps, um, you know, even leave your real job if that's something that you had to or need to do. I don't think you should have all of your eggs in one basket. I do think having backup plans are necessary. And I think I have 40 apps here that you can use to make money online. So I'm really excited to go over these with you guys. Before I get into that, I want to give a huge shout out to Dawn from Sensible Living with Money Mom. She shared my video uh, last week and she's always been so kind. She's helped introduce me to so many of you. And for that, I will be forever grateful. So thank you again, Dawn, for sharing my video. Um, that was so nice of you. And I also want to say that the podcast that I'm going to be on with The Long Run with Joel and Christy is going to debut at 1 p.m. on October 5th. Check out their channel for some more also good frugal and great um, advice. So check those guys out. Sensible Living with Money Mom. Check out The Long Run with Joel and Christy. And uh, I can't wait for their podcast to drop. Um, before I get into the 40 apps to help you make money online... I did go out there and I made $43 outside of my main job today. Uh, I did a $30 Walmart Spark order, which was great. It took me like 25 minutes and uh, I was a happy camper doing that one. And I also did a $13 order from Aldi's. And as I was bagging up my own items from Aldi's, the whole power in the store went out and I was like, oh gosh, I was freaking out for a second. It went right back on, but I was thankful that I was out of line and on my way out of there because I think, um, you know, as you scan the items, it got kind of screwed up uh, for that one person. But let's get into this list. I, I just like to try things and it might not be for you. And I'd like to learn about things that I didn't even know existed. So maybe there's a few of these that you don't know that exist and maybe there's a few that who knows if you try it you might like it let's first talk about my bread and butter selling old stuff uh, book scouter go to thrift stores go around your own house look for books dealo is another great one craigslist vinted ebay facebook marketplace wish mercari offer up Declutter, it's D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R. Cherish is going to be more furniture. And Poshmark is going to be more for clothes. Um, check all those out. Don't rely on just one. There's plenty of times where, you know, it's, it's eBay, eBay. But I've sold so much stuff outside of eBay that don't even... I sell it for more than I've listed it on eBay. Sometimes you can kind of tell by your views, no views on eBay. It'll sell instantly at another marketplace. So, you know, use all of these. Multi-app. Um, again, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Use them all. And then once something sells, take them down or figure out which is going to be working out best for you. So I love to sell old stuff. I love the idea of writing, but... Um, if you are a writer and you want to make some money, here's a few apps that you can check out. Mental Floss, Pro Blogger, Contently, and Listverse. Those are just for, you know, this isn't, again, this isn't um, an exhaustive list. There's going to be other writing apps. There's going to be other apps to sell your old stuff. Let's go into proofreading. Um, Grammarly is one. Scribendi. Scribber. And proofread anywhere. If you're great at proofreading, why not monetize it? Monetize what you love. What a brilliant, mind-blowing concept. You can monetize what you love in this day and age. There are ways to do it. Maybe you like to take photos. Who doesn't, right? Maybe you're really good at it. Maybe you want to get good at it. Maybe you think you could be good at it. Check these apps out to sell photos. Um, FOAP, F-O-A-P, Adobe Stock. 
Shutterstock, Alamy, A-L-A-M-Y, and Getty Images. Um, and again, you can sell stuff, you can take photos, you can write, you can proofread, and you can be your own boss, you know, if you can start whipping these things into, um, you know, start making some real money. It really is earth shattering the day you make your first dollar outside of your main job. What about voice work? Well, I didn't want to bring attention to my voice so early, but I've been getting over a bad cold the last uh, almost a week. I was out, down and out for the count. I still went to work and all that, and I side hustled a little bit. But boy, I was tired, and I feel like somebody was squeezing my nose. So, um, But that being said, Voices.com. Check it out for voice work. Make money just with your own voice. Um, voice Bunny is another great one. Voice One, Two, Three, and Snap Recording. Check them out. Maybe one pays better than the other. Maybe one has a better interface that you can use. Um, you know, check it out. Multi apps, start making some money. The next is physical tasks, and there's certainly plenty of these. Um, Tacky is one, T A K I. Uh, Dolly, D O L L Y. Bell hops and lawn love, which is kind of self explanatory. Um, be outside, make some money, take care of some lawns. I get paid just for doing my neighbor's lawn, and what a blessing that is. Uh, she's very generous. And I get paid to exercise and to be outside, and it, it really helps the cause. I was supposed to do it today, but uh, weirdly it rained all day when it was supposed to be sunny. But oh well, that's fine. It gives me time to do other fun stuff. Um, online surveys is a big one for me. Check out Swag Bucks. Check out Cash Karma. Survey Junkie, one of my favorites. Uh, receipt apps. This is on your phone. Um, Fetch Rewards is my favorite. There's Receipt Pal. There's Receipt Hog. There's Coin Out. Um, you know, you can make $10, $15 a month, especially if you're doing a lot of shops and there's plenty of apps where you can shop for people that I'm not even going to really get into today. Um, but you can cross these together for sure um, and start making some money. And then finally, writing an ebook. And this is something that I definitely want to check out. Uh, Scribble is one app, S-Q-R-I-B-B-L-E, and then Kindle Publishing. I think I could and would love to try to make some ebooks that um, could really help people out in the wild when they're sourcing items or instructions on this or that, um, and just to spread your ex expertise out there. So. I think you can make a lot of money with these apps. Give them a try. Give each category a try. Find the ones that you like and hone in on that. Monetize what you love. Get 1% better with this app every day. Everyone is going to have a first day. Um, I was very new at eBay. I was very new at Instacart. You could be new to writing and new to surveys, but just start. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Just start. Download some apps and make that first dollar and break free.